Brittany, Diego just peed in my floor. I see that poop coming out of your bottom, no way. Diego and Bailey are turning Brittany's bedroom into their bathroom. Is that urine? Yes, it is. Can Victoria get mom and dad to take control? You know, when Victoria walked in, I was extremely embarrassed. We don't have company come over because the carpet looks like crap and it stinks in the house. Now, I do notice some uh, urine stains down here. Yes, every stain is a stain from him. And this isn't even his uh, main room. Yeah, his main room is my daughter's room. And this is Brittany's room. Absolutely disgusting. I do not even come in this room because it's so nasty. If you'll see the carpet, just huge yellow stains. There's yeah. poop all in the corner of her <gasps> little dresser there. That's not nice. You don't toilet in this bedroom? And the boys don't allow Diego in, in their room. The boys' room escapes most of the dog's urine and feces. As you can see, it's the carpet is not as dirty. <laughs> After a few minutes in the boys' room, it seems Diego is keen to mark some new territory. Hey, bud, go, go, go. <gasps> see? Come on. There he goes. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Sorry, no pooping. We're not pooping in that room. I see that poop coming out of your bottom. No way. Not even on my observation day. Uh-uh. He needs to go out and poop now. I take him out. Let me take him real quick. This is a health hazard for the family to be living with especially for children. Urine and feces that can contain potentially serious and dangerous bacteria, it's a real cause for concern. Victoria wants to find out how Brittany feels about the destruction in her room. Show me the damage in your room. Well, there's lots of pee in the carpet all right here, but I think Bailey did that. Bailey's peeing as well? Yeah, and Diego, he's been peeing there. He pees on all of his toys, too. So all your toy, he's peed on all of your toys. Is that urine? Yes, it is. No child should be sleeping in a bedroom like that. Urine stains all over the floor, poop on the floor, too, and on some of the furniture. After getting a good look at what's going on in the Via Gomez home. Is that urine? Yes, it is. Victoria is ready to tell Philip and Tennille what needs to be done. This is one of the most unhygienic houses I've ever been in and it's got to change. Brittany's room is outrageous. And going in there and seeing poop just by her toys and seeing urine splattered toys just there is appalling. I know the boys quite rightly don't want Diego in their room. But when he does get in there, he does pee. So there is urine stains in there too. The following day, training begins. Victoria's first step is to show the family the scale of the challenge that awaits them. This is a fluorescent black light. It is used in forensics to detect bodily fluids, including urine and feces. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna use it in your room and we have to see where on the carpet the urine stains are. So Brittany and Tennille, come follow me. Okay, here we are. Now, just look on the floor. Can you see the brighter part? Yes. Yeah. And that's where all the urine is. See, everything's pretty contaminated. So Diego really has been using your room like a toilet. Yeah. I knew there was a lot of pee, but seeing it like glowing and like you could see it even more, it was just sick. <laughs> it was absolutely disgusting. There is urine and feces everywhere on that carpet. Tennille, what do you feel like when you see all of this? It's worse than I thought. It's just, it's really disgusting. It's beyond disgusting. But there is stuff we can do. Before I can do any kind of training in this house, it has to be clean. If it's not cleaned thoroughly, the dogs are just going to continue to scent mark. First of all, let's get these animals into one of these bags. That's some destruction. What did you do to this? Hmm? <laughs> Every room in the house gets a thorough clean. Get that little car and those little shoes. Put that outside. Four. Can you open it? 
Operation Cleanup reveals some unsightly surprises. I'm gonna take this pillow as well, we're gonna push everything. See, look. I didn't even notice. Brittany, look, this is not cool. This is serious. Do you know that you can get disease from feces? Yeah. Certainly, okay. So this is really, this is, this is about your health. The hardest thing um, for me to hear was the fact that my kids could actually get sick. I, I don't know, I felt like crap. We are gonna start power washing this carpet. Great job, Brittany. All right, let me just bring this out here. This was water, okay? Okay. See how black that is? That was clear when we started it. Oh, God. <laughs> now that the house is clean, Victoria has a surprise for Brittany. Since your room is all clean, okay, I bought you some new bedding. Okay, what do you think? I love it. <laughs> I have one final thing for you. Oh my God. It's a baby gate. <laughs> have the dogs in here if you want, when you're in here, but when you're not, this is a dog-free zone. Promise me you're gonna keep this room clean. I promise. All right, okay. let's go. <laughs> this is a house training tool. Now, dogs are naturally very clean animals. They don't like to toilet where they sleep or lie down. So if there are times when you're not here to supervise them, and you put them in a small area like this, where really they only got space to lie down, it actually makes them hold it. So we're going to get both dogs desensitized to the crate. Victoria does this by enticing the dogs into the crates with treats and praise. All right. OK. That's it. See, that's what you have to do to get the treat. You have to come inside the crate. Bailey's got no problem with that. That's really good. He's gone straight into there. No big deal. And Bailey's the one that you're really going to need the crate for. Because he's the one that's got to learn that while he's in the house, he's got to hold himself. Because I don't think he really has had any need to hold himself. Right. After a few days of desensitization, the family will be able to keep the dogs crated when they're left home alone. Victoria wants to make one more change to help the house training. When you have dogs on a more structured feeding schedule, then A, they toilet less because they're not just eating little bits through the day and drinking little bits through the day, but you'll also be able to time their toileting much, much better. That means, miss, no feeding from the table. It's important that the family take the dogs out every hour to prevent any soiling inside the house. Dogs, like people, are creatures of habit. They like routine. It's much, much better so that they know what they're doing. Dad. It's the first morning of the new schedule, and Philip is first to put in his shift with the dogs. Good boy. Who's a good boy? As the family prepares to leave for the day, Diego and Bailey get their first taste of crating. They are no longer free to use Brittany's room as a bathroom, and the plan is they'll learn to hold it until their afternoon walk. <laughs> Two hours later, the toilet training seems to be working. The crates are clean. Goodness, somebody missed us. And both Diego and Bailey are happy to toilet outside. Let's see how Tanil, Philip, and the kids have been getting on without me. She sees the continued success with the dog's toilet training. Bye, bear. Have a good walk. This is great. It seems like everyone is helping out taking the dogs for a walk. We just moved into a new house. The dogs are not pooping or peeing on the floor, and life has changed so much for us since Victoria's visit. We walk them a lot, so now they don't pee and poop in the house anymore. I'm really pleased to see that the family has been keeping up with the new walking schedule. That'll make the dogs a lot happier, and there'll be far less accidents in the home. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. 
Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.